Hi, today I want to talk about the theoretical basis of a MAP, Manifesting All Possibilities. So it's based on learning theory. Learning theory explains that everything from your actually your conception to now has been learned. It is a memory. And those memories are used for you to be able to act, behave, take action, make decisions. Absolutely everything you do is based on a memory. And then you learn, you know, you constantly add new memories every day. And that's what is called learning theory. So what if, so the, the system is uh, that a thought or a memory sometimes is attached to a very powerful emotion. Now an emotion is also a type of memory and it's memorized all over your body in your cells in terms of neuropeptides. So it's a protein that is all over spread around your body. So there are thoughts in your brain that triggers an emotion. The emotion triggers um, neurotransmitters and neuropeptides, proteins that go all over your body in every cell and hook onto the cells of your body. So now there is a connection between the thought that triggers an emotion and the emotion is so visceral that it affects your behavior. And that's how you choose which behavior to have. Do I choose that or that? This one, ooh, feels painful. This one feels exciting. So that's what motivates every one of your behaviors is the emotion attached to the thought. So what if, what if we could detach, separate the thought from the emotion. We could disconnect the automatic connection, the reactivity, if you want. Then we would have more freedom because when it's on automatic, you are reactive to life. Everything you do, every decisions you make, for example, around money, uh, is based on an old memory attached to an old emotion that affects your behavior right now. Now imagine you can still have the thought or the memory, but if it's detached from the emotion, when you think that thought, it doesn't create any physical sensation. So you're not triggered and directed in your action in an automatic unconscious way. Now you can be much more conscious of what you want to do and your actions you want to take. So this is the freedom that MAP offers. It literally detaches the emotional memory from the core memory, the data that comes into your brain, the things you have heard, you have seen, you have tasted. All those things are memories, but they are core-based memories. Now the emotion makes it powerful. And if we release the emotion, then it's just a simple memory. It is like going to the supermarket three years ago. You don't care, you don't even remember. But it's somewhere in there, it's recorded, it's a memory, but it will not affect your behavior. Unless that day you heard about 9-11, for example, and that was in that specific space uh, in the supermarket. And now you remember that. And each time you move through that alley, you unconsciously consciously remember the trauma or the shock or the you see this is how we are directed and mostly all the decisions we make are prepared in our unconscious and then we think we are conscious when we make decisions but we have been affected by all those memories and those emotions that are affecting us in our decision making um, so map creates this freedom that when you find a memory that is triggering a negative emotion that is triggering a negative behavior you can stop the entire pattern by dissociating the core memory from the emotion and the genius idea is that that came from dr flint originally is that he understood that we could talk and teach actually a part of your consciousness which is what he called the subconscious mind and what I prefer to call now the super conscious mind because it's obviously superior to your conscious mind 
and it's connected actually to the field of infinite intelligence. So there is a part of you, of your mind, that is more than your conscious mind and more than your unconscious memories that have been just recorded. There is a part of you that's bigger than that, that's consciousness, that's connected to infinite knowledge, that is actually totally aware of every one of your unconscious memories. So that part of consciousness that is intelligent can be actually trained and communicated with and trained to find the thought and the memory, go to the origin of it and neutralize, detach, simply detach the connection between the memory itself and the emotion. And now you have total freedom of behavior. So imagine the power of that and we in MAP, we took that essence and we systemized it. We found a way, we created a map literally of the unconscious so that we can direct the superconscious mind into A, please go there, go there, go there, according to um, the entire map of the unconscious. So just to be a little short here and summarize it, in order to master your life, in order to master your behaviors, which affect every one of your results, gives you results in life. It's what you do that gives you results. Now what you do is affected by your emotions that are connected to old memories. Now if we detach that on purpose, now you're free to create new memories, to create new behaviors. And that's the freedom that MAP offers. So I hope this creates a little bit of clarity for you and, uh, and yeah, let's have fun. Let's create our life from scratch, from the present moment and let's detach from the past. All that exists is now. You don't have to be a slave or, you know, dependent on what happened in your past. It really doesn't matter. You can detach from it and live right now with your power right now to create any result you want in the present moment. Bye.